My name is Punmaram, and hers is Reita. Wherever I go, she goes. I look after a herd of 250 camels. They've always belonged to my family. My two brothers are coming tomorrow. Every year we go to the great meeting of camel raisers. It's a long trip on the other side of the desert, south of Rajasthan. My oldest brother lives in the village. His name is Sotaram. He wears the white turban of wisdom. During the year, he works the wool of our camels. Our tethers, our blankets and our rugs are woven from camel hair. At the great meeting, he's the one who speaks for the family. Sonaram is my little brother. He wears the yellow turban of business. He's always traveling, looking for new studs. He's the family businessman. At the great meeting, he's the one who sells the camels. As for me, I've taken the camel-colored turban because I'm always with them. I guide them from pasture to pasture. I saw them all be born. They've always seen me here. My brothers say that I'm the father of camels. When they're born, the camels aren't strong enough to reach their mother's udders. That's why I'm here so that my camels grow strong and live a long time. I belong to the great Rebari tribe. In Persian, Reba means guide. But we are not guides for men. We are guides for the camels. I was 12 years old when I left my village to lead this herd with my father. Today, it's the biggest one in Rajasthan, with the best camels. My brothers and I are known for that. Every year, to prove that our camels are the strongest and the fastest, one of us three goes to the meeting by crossing the great desert alone. He rides his favorite camel. <laughs> But for years now, I've been the one to cross the desert with Raita. My brothers are leaving tomorrow for the great meeting. They'll take the road that goes round the desert. I'll go across it. 
right across the sand where there is no road. While I'm away, my herd stays here. It won't move because of the newborn. I've had 60 this year, and there are more to come. This one's for pretty soon, but I know she'll wait for me to get back. They always wait for me to get back. There's nothing but females in my herd, and a single male. I can't keep the young males. As soon as they're two, they start to fight. I've got 40 this year. They'll be going with my brothers. We'll be at the meeting at the full moon. <laughs> this year, my brothers don't want me to do it. They say I'm too old to cross the sand. But I'm going to go anyway. Raita is my best camel. She'll guide me. Jay Salmer, the gateway to the desert. Beyond its walls, the Tal begins, the land of sand, no more water. The man who doesn't forget lives in this citadel. All the camel herders come to listen to him. He tells the story of our tribe. In the beginning, the god Shiva created the first camel. And then he created the first man of my tribe to take care of this camel. The first camel had five legs. Seeing that, the first man asked how the camel could walk with a leg under its belly. So Shiva took the fifth leg in his hand and shoved it into the air. That's why the camel has a hump. And he said, we were there to take care of this camel. Ah, 
पांच बरस का भोला भाला अब तो बीस भयोरे तीस बरस की अब मत उपजी in the desert, there are no differences between men. In the desert, it's the camel that makes the difference. Raita will carry me across the dunes for seven days. If our way is straight, we'll find the city of the Desert Queen. And behind her, the Great Meeting. My brothers also have a long road, and the young camels they've taken with them are still wild. They've never been tied up, they've never left their mothers. Here, everything moves. Everything. From one day to the next, you no longer recognize the face of the desert. That's how the Rubari became nomads. By following the winds, the dunes, the rains and the grazing land, to feed their camels. My brothers will be worried if they get there before I do. They'll blame themselves for having let me leave. Out there where so many men have lost their way. But Reita is strong. She can go five days without water. If the wind stops blowing. The Great Meeting. All tribes gather at the first moon in April. The leaders gather, listen to complaints, meet out justice and divide up their territories. 
The families marry off children and their best animals too. The stories that are told here quickly become legends. Tribes have been coming here for centuries. It's the only place that has enough water for a hundred thousand animals. A great river runs under the sand. It has never dried up. There are caravanners, shepherds, merchants, every race of cattle and all the families that live from cattle raising. Each tribe has its own reputation. Anything to do with the camels, it's our family that people come to see, and it's my elder brother who does the talking. But he won't say anything, not until the three of us are there together again. And everybody knows that. My brothers are right. I'm getting old. <coughs> the day a camel gives birth, she only has eyes for her baby. She can't lead a herd anymore. She loses her flexibility and her faithfulness. That's why Rita hasn't had any children. I've needed her too much. She'll have one next year, and she'll bring it up. This is our last trip. I was a child when my father took me off to live with his herd. At first, I was lost in the middle of all those camels. I had to get used to drinking murky water and sleeping out in the cold. But then my father taught me to recognize and count them at a single glance, and how to talk to them from the throat. And one day he said to me, man lives on the ground. When he climbs onto a camel, he takes off. The city of the Desert Queen. The tale ends here. It is said that the plague ruined these walls. The citizens blamed the rats. Then a woman came. She gathered the dead children together and changed them into rats in order to bring them back to life. She said they would be her children and that all life must be respected, even a rat's life. The epidemic ended and to thank her, the people built her a temple. For our family, she became the goddess of the desert, the goddess that protects children from disease. She said that all men and animals are her children. She watches over my camels.
Men think that the solitude of the desert is terrible. For me, solitude is here. I have no life without my herd. My brothers say I should go back to the village, that I will have to stop following the camels one day. As long as I'm strong enough to help a camel be born, I'll stay where I am. Mm -hmm. 